The track is a small family entertainment center in Myrtle Beach. This complex has always been known for its multi-level go-kart tracks, but the Myrtle Beach location recently opened the chain's first roller coaster and shark party. Is this FEC worth a pit stop the next time you're in Myrtle Beach? Find out in this review. The track is a chain in the southeast United States comprised of six parks. I previously visited the Pigeon Forge, Tennessee location, but they also have additional locations in Florida and Alabama. The Myrtle Beach location is located just off the main road. It's roughly 15 minutes from the main downtown area, and it features an abundance of free parking. Your experience starts by entering this large building. It's primarily an arcade chalk full of modern games, but it also features a restaurant and the main ticket booth. The biggest downside with the track are the prices. This place is super expensive. The Shark Party SPF Visa Spinning Coaster and the Bumper Boats will cost you $9 per ride. The large go-kart tracks will cost you $12 per ride. And the Kitty Rides cost between $4 and $6. There are price breaks if you purchase in bulk, but you have to spend well over $100 to reap those benefits. As a coaster enthusiast, Shark Party was the attraction that put this FEC on the radar for me. The ride just opened a few months ago, and it's your standard two-loop SPF Visa spinning coaster. This one didn't spin too quickly, but it gave several laps. It seemed to be a particularly big hit with kids. The two most popular rides by far are the multi-level go-kart tracks. You have both the Mighty Myrtle and the Wild Woody. If you've been to any of the fun spot parks, these tracks were built in a similar style. I like the giant helixes and drops, but there were two downsides. One, the carts did not travel particularly fast. Two, there were nearly 30 to 40 carts on the track at once, so the course was super congested. There's also a smaller rookie track for younger guests not tall enough to drive the big ones. The other rides include the aforementioned bumper boats and a few small kiddie rides. The entire complex looked brand new and was very clean. The complex had plenty of colors and it looked vibrant. One downside with the outdoor area is a severe lack of shade. Fortunately, the indoor section has coveted AC on hot summer days. The operations here were pretty good. A lot of FECs like this have rotating ride operators, but every attraction had its own designated operator and I visited in the off season too. The operators were pretty friendly too. So do I recommend the track? Maybe. I would personally have a hard time going back here given how expensive each attraction is. Even compared to most other FECs, this place really racks up the prices. But if you're in town and really want another coaster credit, Shark Party is waiting for you. And if you've never done a multi-level go-kart track, it may be worth a try. Just know the ones I've done elsewhere have faster carts. And this place does have one of the best arcades in town it looks like. So those are my thoughts on the track in Myrtle Beach. Have you been to this family entertainment center in South Carolina? Or have you been to any of their other locations? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and music park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.